Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat. Today we have a food review for you guys. I haven't been really doing food reviews lately because I've been consolidating all my food reviews into one big video at the end of the month, but I thought this kind of deserved its own video, so here we go. Today we're going to be reviewing Amy's Frozen Meals. I don't know, I'm just... I'm hyper, all I've had is coffee, so my hands are everywhere right now. Okay, I'm sure you guys, anyone who's like anyone who has even dabbled in veganism or vegetarianism knows the brand Amy's. I've reviewed their frozen burritos in the past, but I also have had some of their canned soups and chilies and those were delicious. So today we have four frozen meals to review and I am super excited and kind of hungry. I do believe Amy's as a brand is fully vegetarian, but they're not vegan. They make like mac and cheeses and stuff like that I had growing up, but these specific ones are all vegan. I actually don't know which ones I have because my mom bought these on a grocery trip. She actually called me one like one day like a week ago or something. She was like, Rebecca, I got you some Amy's frozen meals. I think you should do a review. And I was like, yeah, mom, I should. That's great. Thank you so much. And here they are right here. I She put them in the freezer when she got home from her grocery trip, and I haven't seen them since. So I actually don't know what we're reviewing today other than it's a vegan Amy's frozen meals, and we have four of them. So let's go through the stack. First up, we have... Um, Amy's Bowls with Brown Rice and Vegetables. It is also gluten-free right here. It looks delicious, a great basic meal. Um, 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 260 calories per container, so it is a small-ish meal. You know, I would make probably a side salad to go with this, but looks looks tasty, excited. Oh, ravioli, spinach and vegan ricotta cheese. Right here, that looks good, looks exciting. 360 calories for a meal. Also, when it comes to frozen meals, that, that's pretty good, you know? That's not, a lot of times frozen meals are like super unhealthy, but this one has a lot of protein. All right, ooh. Okay, this one looks a little bit less appetizing. We have a tofu scramble with vegetables and hash browns. I don't know about you, but that tofu scramble looks hella green for my taste. It is uh, 420 calories, so this is like a whole ass meal. Uh, for me at least, usually that's like around the calorie range where I start to get full in a meal. But um, has 20 grams of protein, which is pretty awesome. And last but not least, we have some gluten-free vegetable lasagna. 330 calories, so also a, you know, something I would add something to, like not a full meal in my opinion. Now I'm not going over the calories to kind of like, uh, like decide how healthy these are. I'm going over the calories to see, like, is this a whole meal? Like when I p buy this, when I pay five or six or seven dollars for it, depending on the supermarket, like am I buying a whole meal or am I buying a meal component? That's why I look at calories when I buy ready meals, you know? I would say maybe the tofu scramble is a whole meal and anything else I would probably add a side to. Now I am kind of curious to see how these look like frozen so we're gonna do a little bit of a unboxing you know and then I'm gonna leave my little filming studio I'm gonna microwave these off camera because um, our microwave is like in our basement because my mom shuns microwaves and we, she likes to pretend that it doesn't exist so I'm gonna go down in that dark dungeon microwave these babies and then come back but before we do that Welcome to my Amy's Frozen Food Unboxing. Today we have, um, first up, our tofu scramble. Now it comes in a cardboard box. All right, I can't keep that up. Ooh! <laughs> Yo, honestly, unboxing frozen meals might be my new favorite thing. Um, you know what, should I open the plastic or do you have to microwave it with the plastic? Okay, I can't take the plastic off because that's microwave with the plastic. But hopefully you guys can see how delicious this tofu scramble looks. Ooh, doesn't that just water your mouth? Look at those hash browned um, hairs and the gorgeous color of the tofu scramble. Just, you know, just so mouth watering. Um, so that's that. Next up we have our lasagna. And that's how that looks like. Honestly, you know, not bad. Just looks like saucy cheesy. You know, who doesn't like some saucy cheesy? I just realized that the sauce doesn't, like the lasagna isn't stuck to the pan, so it it comes out. That's funny. Anyway, 
Um, and next up here we have our ravioli bowl. Ooh. Oh, it's actually a bowl. Oh, it also does not stick to the bowl, so it also, oh, I don't know if you can see that. That's really funny. It looks like a sauce puck, a puck of sauce. All right, and last but not least, honestly, this is the one I would buy for myself because, you know, a good, a good mixture of veggies, protein, and carbs is usually what makes me feel good in a meal. So this one's the most appetizing to me. Let's see if it looks the most appetizing. does not gonna lie yo this I'm hyped for this one this one looks good we have some broccolis on top all oh, the broccolis are so cute they're cut so tiny and uniformly you see that it almost looks fake and we, we can see some onions some rice some mushrooms yeah this is the one I'm most excited for so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna follow the microwave instructions because I'm not gonna wait for these to bake four to five minutes four minutes Four to five minutes. Four to five minutes. Damn it, I will see you in 16 to 20 minutes. Oh, that's gonna be so long, I'm hungry. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and I'm ready, and I totally hurt myself um, during my endeavor. Don't ask me how I cut myself microwaving meals. <sighs> We're back, let's take a look. After microwaving them, I have slightly different thoughts. Put it back in the box, keep it warm while I was, you know, working. And so first up, we have the Amy's lasagna. It smells really good. Looks like lasagna, I guess. I mean, it just still looks like a saucy blob with cheese, but what do you expect from frozen lasagna? Honestly, here's the thing. When it comes to a frozen dinner, Aesthetics is not the issue. Like, I don't really care how the food looks, just as long as it fills me up, it is affordable-ish, um, it's quick, and it's delicious. So, let's do this. <sighs> A quick read of the description. Vegetable lasagna made with organic spinach, zucchini, sweet carrots, sweet carrots, and tofu mixed with organic dairy-free mozzarella-style cheese between layers of tender pasta. And don't forget the sauce, Amy's own traditional sauce made with organic vine-ripened tomatoes. Salute et bon appetito! Bon appetit! Just gonna, gonna, I expected the pasta to fall apart, but I have to actually kind of cut it, but... Mmm, it's good. It's a little salty, a little too salty for me, just a little. Um, however, the vegetables taste good. The cheese tastes good. The pasta is not mushy, so I totally expected the pasta to be like absolute mush, you know, because when you do microwaved food, the pasta comes like meh. But no, it's like actually al dente. I'm very surprised. Um, the sauce is delicious. I would eat this. <sighs> I'm trying to give a score. I feel like there's just the right amount of cheese. There's just the right amount of vegetables. I wish the portion was bigger because I would definitely need to like serve this with a side salad, you know, just to make up more volume in my stomach. But I know that side salads don't come in frozen meals. I mean, so that's an unrealistic expectation for me to have. I'm not going to hold it against it. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. You know, a solid frozen lasagna. Solid. Good job. Starting off, great. Next up, we have probably the least visually appealing dish, although I need to give Amy's props for not trying to like make it look better on the box because it basically looks the same on the box and inside. We have the tofu scramble, you know? It looks exactly um, like it does on the box, basically. You know, just green and choppy, you know? Um, I feel like they did a really good job representing how it looks like. They didn't try to doctor it up anything. They were like, hey, this is high protein, sneak some veggies in, we're not gonna try to pretend it's gorgeous. There you go. It smells kinda good. Uh, what is the tomatoes on the side? Let me read the, 
the description. A generous portion of tofu, scrambled with tender organic spinach, carrots, and mushrooms, along with hash brown potatoes, make up this dish, which is simply too delicious to miss. And of course, Amy's tofu scramble with hash brown and veggies makes a great breakfast, quick lunch, or dinner. It doesn't really describe why there is a side of tomatoes. I've never seen anyone eat a side of stewed tomatoes with their tofu scramble. Do you guys see that? I'll often get to, like ketchup to put on my hash browns and sometimes my tofu scramble. So is this supposed to replace the ketchup? Perhaps, but let's give it a try. I'm just going to try the scramble all on its own. There are more vegetables in this scramble than I would prefer or I would make for myself, but it still could be delicious, so we're gonna not hold that against it. Mm, you know what? It's not groundbreaking. The tofu scramble itself gets a 7.5. Good, fine. The hash browns I'm expecting to just taste like potatoes, so. And that is precisely how they taste like. I'm gonna try them with a little bit of the stewed tomato stuff. It does up the flavor. Honestly, not bad, okay? 7.5, would eat again. Would probably not buy again because tofu scramble and hash browns are pretty easy and fast to make, you know? And I could do it like a lot more cheaply than this and a lot more deliciously. However, it's solid. 7.5. Would eat, but might not buy. Next up, we have another tomato saucy thing. We have this ravioli. Now, this is exciting. I like me some ravioli, and I don't really eat it now that I'm vegan. Um, it looks like a saucy pile, you know, but, you know, what can you expect? It is a ravioli in sauce. The one thing about this is I wish it was bigger. I wish it was more. More than the lasagna, this definitely needs a vegetable side, and when I reheat this later to eat for a meal sometime in the next couple days, I will eat it with a pile of vegetables. Again, not holding that against it, just judging it on the ravioli. Oh wait, let me read the... <coughs> organic wheat pasta folded around delicious house-made filling of organic spinach and vegan ricotta. Covered with Amy's flavorful marinara. It's made with organic sun ripened tomatoes blended with basil and spices. Eat and enjoy. I plan on it. Uh, here is the ravioli. Ah! Whoops. You know what? I'll just show you the less saucy side because you can see it better. Here's that ravioli looks like. It looks like a ravioli. It smells almost the same as the lasagna. I have a sneaking suspicion that the ravioli is just the lasagna in a different form with less vegetables, but only a bite will tell. Mmm! I didn't expect the filling to be green. Even though the filling is definitely green on the box and it says spinach, but for some reason that just didn't click in my mind until I actually ate it. It's good! The inside is definitely tofu-y. You know, it's not cheesy, but then again, they're trying to mimic ricotta, so it's not supposed to be like, you know, cheesy. It's good. It's good. I'll give it an eight. It's good. Last, and this one's kind of curious because this is the one I was most excited for. It is the organic tofu, brown rice, and vegetables. However, when I microwaved it, it doesn't smell that good. It smells like I expected it to be some sort of sauce inside or some sort of like grand amount of spices to make up for the fact that brown rice and tofu and vegetables is pretty bland, but it smells precisely like brown rice, tofu, and vegetables. <gasps> A shocker. Like it literally just smells like steamed vegetables and brown rice. Um, I have a feeling that I'm gonna need to sauce this up when I turn it into leftovers later. But let's read the description. The dish starts with organic brown rice and tofu, which are a good source of protein. Amy's chefs have added organic onions, broccoli, mushrooms, carrots, celery, and spinach, combined with a de delectable sesame tahini sauce. Where? Is it just mixed in? I can't tell. It says, we're sure that this flavor-rich bowl will become one of your favorites. Okay, either they're lying or I just can't smell the flavor. Oh my God, I just had that like, uh, that TikTok sound pop into my head. Where's the flavor? Yeah, it smells 
not seasoned, but the broccolis are really cute. Okay, it's definitely giving me like where's the flavor vibes, but not as much as I thought. Like there is a sauce in here somewhere. It's just very well incorporated into the rice, like kind of coating it, and it's just not very substantial. So I would re-sauce re this. That being said, it looks like the most nutritionally complete option. I don't know, the tofu scramble one's pretty nutritionally complete because you have like protein, carb, whatever, veggies. It looks like the most healthiest, the one I would gravitate to if I want a meal that is uh, microwavable yet still makes me feel good. But because I would re-sauce it, I probably would have to dock a point or something because isn't the whole point of a microwavable meal that it's like quick and fast and like no effort. 6.5. If I were to actually eat these as meals, this is how I would doctor them up. Doctor them up. The lasagna and ravioli are flavorful and delightful as is. I would just make a side salad to make it more filling. This would need a sauce. Maybe I'll make my own tahini sauce to put it on top of and some kimchi or sauerkraut or something for like tang, you know. And the tofu scramble would probably get covered in ketchup. That's just my culinary opinion on how I would serve these gorgeous dishes. But let me give you my final thoughts. While it sounds like I kind of shitted on Amy during this video, I generally approve of these frozen meals. And let me tell you why. They are generally healthy, definitely quick, right? Vegan. I applaud Amy's for coming out and offering vegan options. I would eat these. I would recommend them to people trying to like pick up quick, you know, food options. So they definitely land on my good list, but obviously I had to be real with you guys, you know, give you all the pros and cons for each one. So yeah, I really hope you appreciated the honestness of my review. If anyone from Amy's is watching this video, please still love me. I actually really love your company. Um, I'm just trying to review things here, okay? I just have one more thing to say for today. I truly, truly enjoyed reviewing these frozen meals, like truly. It's a lot of fun because you have the expectation versus reality aspect, right? And then you have like a whole instant meal to try. I don't know why, I am I liked reviewing these more than I liked reviewing, I don't, I don't know, the usual food I review, like snacks and stuff. Uh, forget restaurants for a second, I'm just talking about ready-made food. If there's any other brand you know that does vegan, frozen, ready-made foods, then let me know because I I'm not even gonna take a poll. Vegan Frozen Foods is becoming a series. Like, it's a future playlist, mark my words. So if you want to contribute to anything that I try on this new playlist I decided is gonna exist now, then comment down below either other brands that do frozen meals, or because I know Amy's is such a large company, I could probably do a whole ass other video on other products they have in the frozen food section. Comment different Amy's frozen foods that I should try. Yeah. All right. Hope you enjoyed that video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. Do you like the new animation I've been doing? I did that myself. I'm trying to learn Procreate. It's been fun. That is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Alan, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, of Planet Earth, Nicole, Juanita, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, Charles, Gemini, Curtis, Stacy, Janine, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Danny, and Vanessa. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.